Hi everyone. Yesterday we will discuss about the speed control of the DC shunt motor. Now we will discuss about brake test on DC shunt motor. Okay, we will discuss about on brake test on DC shunt motor. Here we go for the diagram. Starting with the DC supply. Okay, starting with the DC supply and here is the DPS switch. Okay, here is a fuse. Next, here an voltmeter to measure the supply voltage and a meter for measurement of current in the power supply. Three point starter L A Z. Okay, here for A for the field. Okay, for the field, we are going. so before the field, we have to connect the one rear start. Okay, so here on the Z, Z, Z. Is the 360 ohm by 1.6 ampere okay start. here on the restart okay so here is the motor next here is the drum having the weights drum weights okay show the punch Okay, now so here is the DPS to switch. So it and the fuse. Now we'll go. So here is the voltmeter, ammeter we have, and here is the field rear start for the controlling the speed of the DC shunt motor. So here I have to supply the DC 220 volts. Next, here we have considered the so 0 to 300 volt ammeter voltmeter now coming to the here we can see the 20 amperes or 30 amperes okay based on the motor rating okay here first we have to start the DC shunt motor by using the DC supply by closing the switch DPST then the supplies goes to here it will show the how much voltage is, is applied to the here okay then we have to start the motor DC motor which line okay we have to start the dc motor by using the three point starter then so it will show the mid okay it will show the sum so then after starting of dc motor only it will show the deflection of the ammeter okay next we have to rotate the armature okay we have to rotate the armature of the motor at rate speed so we have to put the by using the field rheostat okay by using the field rheostat we have to make the speed of the armature at a rated speed first we have to rate the motor at rated speed okay then first we have to take the at no load condition okay at no load condition so first we have to rotate the motor at no load as well as at rated speed okay, at rated speed then we have to apply the load okay we have to apply the load with one so here the weight we are concerned that w1 or w2 sometimes maybe concern s1 or s2 it's maybe spring balance they will take the s1 and stuff. here weights w1 w2 okay here is the brake so here we are applying the by using the belt okay by using the belt we are applying the load on the shunt motor okay here the brake test when we start dc motor we have to run it no load that means so we don't have to pull the brake on the motor okay here i have to start the motor at no load with rated speed 
so could the for rated speed have to used in the this field rheostat okay then after the coming to the rated speed we have to take the readings okay we have to take the readings of voltmeter ammeter and speed voltmeter ammeter and speed as well as how much weight we are applied okay how much weight we are applied that means w1 w2 or s1 s2 okay first at rated speed if you apply the 220 volts will get the at rated volt okay so based upon motor ratings will get the some current okay so here we have to apply the zero bits okay next now we have to apply the load okay we have to apply the load of the decision to motor okay by using the this belt okay we have to tighten the blade itself so by wearing so we have to weight the apply the weight by using the belt drum by using the armature okay whatever the current is there ammeter rating that we have to observe so by applying this one we have to check the either load is applying or not on the ammeter if load is applied the current rating will be increases okay for that one you have to take the another suppose if you have applied the 5 amperes load so if you have any speed 14 40 if applied whatever the weights you are applied so it will have any new term okay so having the oh, 1.2 or 5.2 okay one is showing on one meter under okay like this so how to by changing the weights we have to apply the weight okay so here rated we have to apply the brake up to rated current rated current on the dc shunt rated current on the dc shunt motor so whatever the name plate details we written on the in the shunt motor up to that we have to apply suppose if the name plate details showing the current having the 29 amperes so we have to apply up to current 29 amperes okay then we have to check the how much speed it will be rotated okay as well as weight so for the respective current how much voltage is applied that we have to consider okay this is the shunt motor now we have to take this some calculation while what are the performance characteristics of the decision okay first we have to is the experiment so from the experiment we have to do this some calculations by using the, these data okay first we have to measure the brake drum okay whatever the brake drum is there we have to measure the radius of the brake drum okay then so we have to take the weights now we have to consider what are the changes we have formulas we have to use okay first first we have the input supply v into i okay next we come to the speed okay weights so for the output we need the 2 pi nt by 60 okay 2 pi nt by 60 we need to calculate the torque so we need to have the force into radius here radius is the drum okay drum whatever the radius is have that will having the radius in meters only okay radius should be in meters here force here for the force we have to take the whatever the weights we are applied here w1 minus w okay the difference w1 minus w2 or w2 minus w okay whatever it is into gravitational force okay w1 minus w2 into 9.81 okay here we will get the force in newtons okay this is the one okay torque will get newton meter so if the torque will get then we will calculate the output then we will have the input so we will calculate the easily efficiency output by input into 100 okay this is the calculation we have to do for the DC shunt motor then we have to draw the some performance characteristics of the DC shunt motor here we are having the model graph okay 
so we have to consider model graph that is il okay with respect so what are the il next ta so what is the difference that we having with respect one okay as well as next speed torque characteristics how we are running okay that we have to by using this data only we can draw okay here by applying the load by applying the load how much is the voltage is given okay so we have to take supply voltage current speed force torque okay speed torque characteristic we have to calculate okay for the dc shunt motor so by using this data we have to draw the graphical representation okay this is the about the dc shunt motor okay brake test on dc shunt motor thank you